And you're very welcome to our very first video here in County Mayo in the west of Ireland on a beautiful sunny day in our greenhouse. Uh, I just, we just want to show you today some of our seedlings and all of these seedlings my wife has put down. Uh, scarlet beans. Um, we have some melon which uh, really looking forward to this. This is like a Ukrainian melon. We have more butler beans, uh, little tomatoes, again more beans, more tomatoes, these are black crim tomatoes, uh, they're a cold hardy variety, uh, black as the name says, a black tomato, quite tasty. Um, here we have a Filipino corn and it's purple in color. Uh, we'll just switch you around to the other side of the greenhouse here for a second we'll show you what we have planted in the bed here this is a um, comfrey and this is a very 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 good uh, fertilizer this is what we'll use for um, um, fertilizing a lot of our plants and it just really enriches them and it's great also for bees over here we have uh, a couple of our grapes that are still young and uh, we'll have to figure out exactly where they're going to go. And here we have our calamansi, which is a little orange. I'll show you a couple of them. There's only a few of them on it at the moment. And um, we have one of our uh, cabbages, one of our Irish cabbages here. And uh, doing very well. He's um, that we find them very productive, they grow everywhere. We have another grape here, and this one here is um, called a Rhea, and it's a, a seedless grape. Um, it's very young yet, so we're going to see where we'll put, end up putting that. In here we have uh, some carrot seeds planted, and um, as well as some borage, which is a bit like the comfrey we've seen over there, and it's in that it's a very large leafed plant, and it has a, a blue star-shaped type of a flower. Uh, wonderful plant, and uh, very very good for bees. Here we have um, some. Uh, I believe this is what is this again there? Round cabbage. Round cabbage. Okay. Uh, we have marigolds here and some parsnips that we have yet to put in um, oh, and that really should be in the ground here we have one of our um, avocados and uh, Abby actually took the seeds of the an actual regular avocado and we have our uh, trouble in the background going on the vacuum cleaner <laughs> say hi yeah. Okay. So um, this this avocado here is probably going on the third year. The first year, during the winter time, it completely lost its leaves. And uh, the second winter, it's maintained its leaves into a very beautiful green, kind of a dark green. It's actually looking at it poorest at the moment, but that's probably because it needs water. We've had dry weather for the last number of weeks, and uh, beautiful weather, so we can't complain there. But you can see the new growth that's coming on that. We'll switch over here to uh, our seedling cabbages, which Abby just uh, planted uh, how long ago? Mm, three, uh, three, four weeks. Three, four weeks ago. These are Irish cabbages. They're doing lovely. We just have to get them into, uh, 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 into the ground. Here we have... Uh, well, we show you these. What I did here was I put a wires going across on our greenhouse and um, I'm training grapes that were in pots but I planted them outside, trained them from the outside coming on to the inside and we'll string them up going along the full lit, uh, width of the greenhouse. So we have several different varieties. This particular one is a, a Bow Scoop Glory. It's a green grape. Um, at least, at least that's we 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 did get grapes on that one year. Um, this one here, I believe it's called Regent. Haven't got grapes on that yet. Um, and over 
here. Well, immediately you see our fig, which we're very proud of and uh, hopeful for. It's uh, Picoche de Dalmante. And um, I know I look, do look at a lot of different uh, videos on, on figs and uh, let's, from some the people that know a whole lot more about this, like uh, Ross, the, Ross, the fig boss in uh, Pennsylvania, and he grows them inside and outside and uh, has so many different varieties. We have only a few little varieties at the moment, but we're very excited about them. This one here is uh, Violet de, 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 de Dauphine, and this one is Brunswick. And there is uh, one little fig on that one at the moment. So, um, this is another of our grapes behind. It's called Dornfelder. And uh, what we'll do with these is we'll snip them at, let's say, at the one, two, or three bud point. That's to encourage uh, grape production going along the vine and not to have a lot of bushy growth, but rather um, to have um, grape production. But for the moment, it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll encourage the, the vine to, to uh, yeah, we have a, a climber in the house. Most of our climbers, uh, they, they're growing, but uh, this, this one is growing too, but he's <laughs> just a little quicker than the ones we plant. Um, we have a couple more figs here. This one, I think, is just the regular brown turkey, which is common enough, and uh, we'll plant that outside. In here, we have uh, our potato bed. It's early potatoes, and uh, it's always very nice to get some early potatoes. We have another uh, grape here. This one uh, is called, well, there are a couple of different names on it, but one is Kentish Claret, another one is that uh, Rondo. They have it. And you can see the little uh, baby, let me see if we get behind it, the little baby uh, grapes that are coming. It's quite prolific in its growth. You see it along the shoots, and this will have to be tinned out later on. But for the moment, we let it go. And a big key thing with this, is, or anything that's in a pot, is to feed it. Here we have um, we have yakon, or yakon tubers, and they aren't really coming up. They're just starting to come up, and uh, we'll see. They're related to the sunflower, but uh, they're an edible tuber. And so. Um, what else do we have? Um, we have our um, cabbages here, uh, round cabbages, and uh, some more tomatoes, and uh, ended on some pak choy. And uh, some parsnip, but uh, of course parsnip is much more successful out, out, outdoors. And we have more tomatoes that are growing. And we have more tomatoes, which just happened to be in the beds. We had beds of tomatoes here uh, last year, and they're just left over from the seed. So that's our tour from all of us here in the greenhouse. Including our budding young gardener, who's... Uh, Say hi. Experimenting. Uh, thank you for joining us. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Okay.